all right guys so welcome back to another video so in this video i'm going to show you how to play part three i'm going to go over through the different strategies that you can um, take um, as amateurs i think a lot of times we just shoot the pin and we hit our club and i think we don't realize that there could be many other options many other ways of how you can play your your part three so, so i'm gonna play this hole uh i'm gonna use two balls uh, it's 140 to the flag right there downhill so i think a pitching wedge would get me there so i'm gonna see if i can play it, the strategy where i just stay short maybe and then i'm gonna play another shot where i go a little longer with a nine iron so uh it's a little tight as you can see there's trees right on left uh, so i'm gonna just aim right at the middle but that's where the flag is anyways Okay, I pulled that slightly, uh, but it should be on the left side. So now I'm gonna hit my nine iron. One thing that I wanna add here is that I saw that the pitching wedge got um, about to the left of the green. And so hitting the nine, I wasn't too convinced. And I think a lot of times that happens at the course. You're not convinced on the club that you're hitting. Okay, so I pulled that about the same. Uh, we'll see which one is better. Well, I pull both shots and I think a lot of people don't realize that obviously if I hit them straight Maybe I think that the nine iron would have been better, but uh, you have to understand that You're not always gonna hit them straight. It looks like they're both in the same spot. So They pull I pull both and I guess I must have not hit that nine iron uh, very well because It stay in the exact same spot right here but what I want to prove to you is that um, if I were to hit the nine iron flushed, that would end up in the bunker. So that would have been right here. That would have been bad. Now, if I would have played my nine iron straight, it would end up right here. And there's a little slope right here. So it might have go, it could have maybe rolled down this way. So I think there was less risks with the pitching wedge. There was no hazards on the left side, right side. So. Even if I were to hit it shorter, it would have been better. I'm gonna grab my 56. I'm gonna see if I can get them up and down. lucky i guess but i think it would have rolled to the end of the green so if we look at the lie here one ball had a good lie the other one was in uh, sitting down on the uh, on the rough so that's going to dictate whether you're going to get a par or not because a lot of times you said well you know i just missed it just a little bit there but uh, to be honest uh, if you missed it by less you your chances of getting pars are way better because it's very hard to get it up and down on some of the thick stuff you know it's gonna it's gonna take off the spin and um, like you've seen in the video that ball would run all the way back to the to the back of the green okay guys so that was just a short video um, I'm gonna be doing videos like this and I think uh, it's quite important to to decide what club to get and maybe not necessarily play that club in this case I think it was better the pitching wedge but in many other cases it might be better to play longer uh, not necessarily to what you see here so it's just uh, something that you to keep in mind i think i hope you enjoyed the video guys make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching until next time